person who opened up before they had all like all these products. I came in here and like I just talked to the owners and it was so magical. Like when I walked in here, I felt like I was at home. And so ever since they opened up, I've been here diligently buying stuff, getting products. Their products are so amazing as well. They work, especially for people of our color. Hello. Black is beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> Don't mind me, this is nerves. Um, this first piece is just um, what I view on society. And um, recently, there's been a lot of suicide. So that kind of made my mind write this piece. Can I say what's on my mind? Maybe these, maybe these words can open up your third eye chakra that society has kept blind. First, let me start with the views that I cast upon my people. Blue blood, blue blood, red or purple, we still all bleed, so shouldn't that make us equal? The system of race has made an even greater divide, all because they don't want us to be happy of our color or even have pride. We can't try to conform to a society that has spent all their power trying to break us, because they have done it in the past and now history repeats itself, so why should I give them my trust? This goes way back before my sister Rosa was on that bus. Way back before my mother, brother Malcolm started making, started to make a fuss. We come from a history of beauty and struggle. Had to hide our face like the people the cartel smuggled. Beautiful flower child, remember that your, your life glows like, just like the sun rays. And even though your sky can get dark, remember nothing in life stays all gray. Keep your head up and never allow, and never allow your path to be led astray. Never try to take your life because it's your loved ones that are left to mourn. And remember, you were destined for greatness the minute you were born. This is a me message I want to share to the many, but this might hit only a few. Just realize you have to have patience and guidance in anything you do. This next one is about, um, it's called relationships. It, started cur it starts out curved by the dock. Can't put a time, on, time to leave on this ship. You won't fly one clock. This ship has so many doors. Some left open, some old with big locks. It might seem very sturdy at first glance, but with time it, with time it might wither and become brittle if you give it a chance. The ship has now left the dock, and, it, and now you can see the waters are clear and subtle. What a shock. The beginning of this venture took off without a hitch, almost like someone was controlling, controlling it, like a Nintendo Switch. Months in on this voyage, the waters have become much stronger. The ship starts to tilt and sway, and you wonder if, you could sh if this ship can take, in take this any longer. The water becoming more violent starts to bring in the high tide, and you love this ship, but then you start to think maybe you should abandon this ride. Can you really try to stay on the ship and make sure you don't fall over broadside? The ship flips over and now you're struggling in the water, tired and anxious like a hangover. But you know that you might drown, but you know you might drown. Now is the time to calm down and find your way out this racket. You see a hand grabbing out to save you, just like a life jacket. Is this your savior? Or was it the one that caused the caught or was it the cause of the ship flipping? Can't hold can't hold on too long, you feel your hand slipping, falling back into the sea. The essence of you no longer full, but a, leak, a leaky hole that's left dripping. Thank you. Uh, and this last one, this is like my, my favorite one. This was, um, I wrote this during Black History. This is a shout out to all my black nerds out there. <clears throat> What's life like as a black nerd? It's insane. Everybody wants to use you for your brain. When your vernacular is so spectacular, you talk so divine, people start to call your thoughts oracular. It's powerful to see a black man with thoughts. So you work hard to honor those ancestors who you knew for. For you to be here to stand the minds of the masses. That one cool brother who always had the nerdy glasses and always had the hands raised up in all their classes. You rock a deep afro so all the people know that your power is deep, never shallow, and your thoughts make you a leader and you would never want to follow. People tell you like weird things like anime and they hate all those dumb games that you play, but you know better because you're like a cheat code to the system, like an action replay. So let me say this loud, black nerds to y'all can say I'm proud. You walk through the world, not a sheep to, sheep to the crowd, and hump over the world and take it by storm like a thunder crowd. Thank you very much. Woo!